Hey y'all, welcome back to Brews with Brenna. The, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I mean, that is so long I forget. Hey y'all, welcome back to Brews with Brenna where I review craft beer and style my hair super cute. In this video, I'm just gonna review a beer and talk about the three things I wish I knew before I got curtain bangs. Blue, hey, get in that bed, dog, or else you're going back to the bedroom, dog. He's so loud, he snort, snort, snort. <sighs> In this episode, I'm going to review a super dope beer that I'm so excited about. Let's get started. The beer we are gonna try today is from Torque Brewing. It's called Whoa Nelly. I was just planning on drinking this the other night because I haven't tried it. And I went to reach in my fridge for a different beer I had for today's episode, but I saw this and I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect. It's an amber ale. Usually I don't gravitate towards amber ales, but the flavor profile looked amazing. Amber ale brewed with a blend of Manitoba rooibos tea, floral lavender with sweet berry and citrus. So that sounds so good. Mm, kind of sounds like a sison. Saison? Sison? You know what I mean. And I've had cocktails before that had tea in them. Mm, so good. Isn't that beautiful though? Look at that artwork. So gorgeous. I love it. But if you're a, it's Mr. Stink. It's my little doggy. I don't want to lock him up. It has a very light first take and a light finish. But you get a, like a little of that amber ale. Anytime I read tea as a part of a beer, I know it's going to be pretty light, not, not have like a strong hop, not be super sweet, not be sour. It's going to be light like a tea is light. So the tea is actually from Cornelia Bean. It's a local coffee and tea shop in Winnipeg. It's on Academy. This is from Torque Brewing, by the way. We haven't done a Torque beer yet. Oh my gosh, look, there's even little hops in the design. But yeah, we haven't done a Torque beer yet, which is my good pal Riley's fave. <laughs> he loves his freaking Torque. And after doing a little bit of research on the company, I could totally understand why. They're totally about supporting local. A lot of beer companies are about supporting local, but I really felt it from this one, which is so great because that's what I'm here for, you know? I buy all the local craft beers, as you can tell. 5.5%. It's actually 25 IBU, which is pretty high, but it doesn't taste, it's not very hot forward. Oh, and this beer's called Woe Nelly. I don't know if I said that, I'm kind of drag. Fight for your right to buy day. <laughs> okay, up with that. Okay, up with that. Let's talk about curtain bangs. They look great on most people, but not everybody. As a hairstylist, I've really learned this because I've been doing hella curtain banks the past year, homie, hella. You know, I actually did expect this to be a little more fruity, but it's nice because the citrus and the hops kind of balance each other out. So this beer was done in collab with the Society of Beer Drinking Ladies. That is their first collab with a beer company in Manitoba, and I didn't even know there was such things. So thank you, Tork, for introducing me. I now follow them on Instagram, and I'm excited to see their adventures. Sounds like a society I can be a part of. First thing I wish I knew about curtain bangs, they look great on most people, but not everybody. If you have a wacky cowlick, you might want to reconsider. If your hair grows down, you might want to reconsider because your hair will constantly be in your face like this. My hair grows a little up, so it's kind of perfect for them. If your calic is on the side and your part is on the side, when you cut curtain bangs, they're gonna look more like a side bang and not the authentic curtain bang. They'll still look pretty and soft and gorge. This is definitely a beer that is so easy drinking and I feel like I have a hard time finding a beer like that within a flavor profile that I like. It reminds me of the drinkability of, I think it's called Blueberry from Transcanda Brew. I used to be obsessed with those. Those are a little more sweet than this, but they have that, that same drinkability. The next thing I wish I knew about curtain bangs before I got curtain bangs was to use bedroom hair. If you ask anybody at my salon, this is everybody's favorite hairspray. I love it. Even though I push my hair out of my face, it still is gonna kind of fall like that, right? I'm going to use a little bit of bedroom hair right at the base of my hair, right here. And just, you know, use a little bit at a time because it's pretty easy to use too much with this. So now you can see how much my hair is sitting off my face. You can see this piece is more in my face and this is more like swooped out. This is the best trick I have ever taught myself about curtain bangs. You can tell I've been doing them a lot. Just holds it out of your face, you know, but you still kind of get that nice shape. So I was trying to grow out my curtain bangs, but I cut them for my basics with Brenna video again. 
I feel so sexy. Like, this is why people get them. Just, the, you got that sex appeal, you know, that fire in you. And I, I feel like I walk around with a swag. Best part though, 5.5%. This is gonna be a short video, but it's my first bruise with front of back since I've kind of been slack dogging, big slack dogging. You know, I like to learn. I don't know about you guys, but I like to learn. I watch that YouTube, you know what I'm saying? If nothing that I love more than about this beer, it's geared towards women. The company loves to support local. I love that. Like, look at that. Beer woman power, man. F yeah. I feel like it speaks to my soul. Look at that girl. Looks like she's in a bathtub. You know how many times I'm in a bathtub? Just sipping on a delish beer, you know what I'm saying? Like, frick yeah, bud. The number one thing I wish I knew before I got curtain bangs is... You have to style them. If you don't style them, they literally, literally just sit like this. You don't get the mm, unless you style those bad boys. Watch my basics with Brenna video on how to cut and style them and you'll be good to go. It's super easy. But yeah, otherwise they kind of just hang there. That's for us straight hair girls. If you have curly hair, you might get that Taylor Swift vibe, that little, mm, that little curly curl hair and it looks really cute. No matter what, you're not naturally getting this sexy Brigitte Bardot sweet. So that's the number one thing people don't realize when they cut them. As soon as I like, you know, when their hair is down to here and I take it up to here, they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> what did I do? And then I'm like, relax, we'll blow dry them. After I blow dry them, my client's eyes just light up and they feel so fire. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Da, da, da. Let's do our judgment on the beer. Would I buy whoa Nelly again? Yeah, buddy. Woman power, I'm supporting local. I freaking love it. The artwork is gorgeous. It tastes delicious. Easy drinking beer, like 5.5%. It's like, I know, I know it's gonna do work, but it's not gonna do enough work on me where I'm out to lunch. Frick yeah, I'd buy that beer again. Put in the comments if you tried it and what you think of it. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> but that's good.